Hello, I'm Dr. Carlo Carandang, and I'm a psychiatrist. Today, I will talk about how SSRIs and SNRIs work for anxiety. SSRIs, also known as selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, and SNRIs, also known as serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors, work for anxiety by increasing serotonin in the brain. Specifically, SSRIs and SNRIs increase serotonin by acting on the RAFI nuclei, which is located in the brainstem. And what happens is, is that these RAFI nuclei provides serotonin to the rest of the brain via its projections of the serotonin neurons that go from the brainstem, the RAFI nuclei, to other parts of the brain. So here's a serotonin neuron that originates in the RAFI nuclei in the brainstem. And one of the places where the serotonin neuron connects to in the brain from the RAFI nuclei in, in the brainstem, it connects to the amygdala. So the amygdala is located deep within the temporal lobes of the brain. And the amygdala is a part of the brain which is known as the fear center of the brain. So the fear circuits of your brain are centered on the amygdala. So when you have anxiety, the amygdala and the fear circuits that are centered on the amygdala are hyperactive. And this is what causes anxiety because of these this hyperactive fear circuit which is centered on this amygdala. So if you can imagine in a brain that is highly anxious, this amygdala is overstimulated and hyperactive. So one of the ways to decrease the hyperactivity of the amygdala and hence to decrease anxiety is to release more serotonin to the amygdala because serotonin that's released here from the serotonin neuron that connects to the amygdala, the serotonin that travels across the synapse to the receptor sites here, the serotonin serves to inhibit the activity of the amygdala and therefore calms down the amygdala and hence the fear circuits and therefore leads to decreased anxiety. So one of the ways to increase serotonin, as you know, is to take an SSRI or an SNRI and the, the SSRI and the SNRI work similarly in that they serve to block the reuptake of serotonin back into the neuron. So this is the serotonin reuptake pump. So SSRIs and SSRIs work by blocking this serotonin reuptake pump. And when you block the reuptake pump, which basically recycles serotonin back into the serotonin neuron, what happens is, is that it increases the concentration of serotonin in the synapse, and hence there's more binding of serotonin to the postsynaptic receptors that is connected to the amygdala, and the binding of serotonin to the serotonin receptors on the amygdala serves to inhibit the amygdala it serves to calm the amygdala in the fear circuits and hence it decreases anxiety. So again, SSRIs and SNRIs work for anxiety by increasing the concentration of serotonin in the synapse by blocking the re reuptake of serotonin via blocking this serotonin reuptake pump and hence increasing serotonin in the synapse, which leads to increased binding of serotonin to postsynaptic post serotonin receptors, which is attached to the amygdala, and this increase in binding of serotonin serves to inhibit the amygdala and hence to decrease anxiety. So this is how SSRIs and SNRIs work to decrease anxiety by increasing the concentration of serotonin in the synapse and hence leads to increased binding of serotonin to post 
postsynaptic serotonin receptors connected to the amygdala, which then decreases the hyperactivity of the amygdala and fear circuits and hence leads to decreased anxiety. For more information and help on SSRIs, SNRIs, and anxiety, please visit anxietyboss.com. I'm Dr. Carlo Carandang. Thank you for listening.